if I was doing this moment as a thriller, I could think of so many ways that things could happen and how to shoot them. And you would start with the kind of like grounded, well, what is it like to be in an interview, in a junket, and the, and the humor of that. And then somebody, you know, the cameraman hears something on his phone and he's getting upset. And then, and then you getting distracted, but we keep trying to do the interview, but then we hear noises outside and then we hear a scream from outside in the hallway. And you and I, at some point, we stop the interview because something's going wrong and we're piecing it together that there's something, you know, dark happening to the hotel outside. So. You have to come inside right now. There were four of them. What do we say? You shouldn't make things up when we're talking about... Can you open the door, please? They're breaking in! Film is definitely structure, you know? Um, the story is, a, is it, it's two hours, you have to begin and end it, you have to create a language and you have to finish it. So the structure is critical. Where are you in the movie? Like when an audience member says the movie's slow, that's an audience member saying to you, I don't know where I am in the story structure. That's all they're saying. They don't actually mean the scene is slow. They mean, I'm, I'm lost, where am I in the story? Is he gonna rob the bank? Is he not gonna rob the bank? You know, I don't know where I am. Um, and so the, the critical thing in a thriller, which is a high stakes drama, right? It has physicalization and stakes is that you have momentum. So once you start raising the momentum, you have to keep raising the momentum. You're underlining this, this idea of adrenaline that I'm talking to you about, about um, stakes and adrenaline. So where, where is the character at scene 38? Where are they in scene 64? So you, and then you enhance that with the way you're shooting the piece and the shots that you're selecting should mimic the rise in uh, the person's feeling of suffocation or threat. That is, it's such a magical part of making movies, the, the editorial process. I'm, I'm astonished by it. I'm, I'm continually astonished by it because what I intend from an image and is, is seen and perceived, but when I put it next to another image, now I've lost slight control over that, that, that impact that it's having with the audience. And I have to kind of look at them and watch them to see what does this juxtaposition do to them. And so it's a, it's a magical art form. I mean, I'm, I've, I've gotten uh, stronger at being able to anticipate what the sequence of juxtaposition will do but you can never be absolutely sure so until it's put together. And so you, the editing process is a wondrous thing of realizing, wow, if you take out that, it actually is scarier. Or if you, you, if you, you cut it to, to this length, it, it causes the audience is already there. Just let them taste it. Don't let them think it too, too much. You know, all of these thoughts and you're, you're like an EKG of emotion as you're editing. And so hopefully you have enough time to really understand what the audience is feeling when you're showing them this, these images and so you can react to tell the story that you want to tell. Because oftentimes you're telling this story, they're seeing this story, and what you want to have is they're both, everyone's seeing and telling the same story. The Six Senses is often in the list of the best thriller movie in history and has been voted film with best twist by a poll in 2010. How do you react to that? I mean, amazing. Um, you know, it's funny, I don't think of that movie any differently than the other movies. Um, it was such a uh, wonderful thing to learn to make thrillers. And so that was kind of the first time I got to make a thriller. and. Uh, that for me will always be this moment of, wow, this is what I was meant to do. I was meant to tell these type of stories. And um, that, that, that time period is so overlapped with Unbreakable for me because I made them so close together. In fact, I was writing Unbreakable while we were editing Six Sense. So that time period is a blurry between those two movies for me. They're, they're, they, they re it, it feels the same to me like Six Sense and Unbreakable. <laughs>